This is the video solution for the Let's Go Shopping Challenge. And we've probably saved the best to last. Well, certainly the hardest to last. Uh, but let me just show you how I actually tackled this. The first thing I've done is I've created a shopping form page. And I've also created a processing script. And I'll run through this in a second. I've also opened the HTML template that we created in a previous lesson. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy that and just go ahead and paste it into my shopping form page. For my title, let's have credit card checker. And in the body, this is where I need to create my form. So I'll start with a form tag. In here, I'll need an input with a type being text and the name being, well, this is for my credit card number, so I'll just put CC for credit card. The next input type will be for the submit button. And the name I'll just have as submit. The last thing I need to do here is I need an action for my form. And the action is, where am I sending it to? I'm sending it to shopping.php. My method will be a post method. Okay, so that form's all done and everything looks fine. Let's head across to the processing script and I'll show you what I've done here. So what I've done is I've actually planned out the structure of my solution. And I have done this in a previous example as well. So I've started my PHP code block and then just added a series of comments. And these comments literally are my thoughts, my processes, what I intend to do in the solution. Now I suggest you do something similar, whether it be a little diagram, a flow chart, or even something like this where you write in a few comments. Now what I do is I change each of these comments into a line of code. So the first one here is check if the form has been submitted. So if something is true, I'm going to do something. And in here, I need to check if is set, then run brackets. And in here, I'm checking if the post square brackets tick mark and submit. And then split this open. So that's going to check if the submit button has been pressed. And what I need to process is all of this. So I'm going to cut that and paste it in here. The next thing I need to do is to assign my variables. And if you have a note in these brackets, I've said I also need a total and an incrementer. So probably dollar $i. So let's start with the actual credit card number. That would make sense. So number equals post and then square brackets, tick marks and CC. So what this means is take the user input and assign it to this variable here. And that's going to be a string. The next thing is I need a total. One of the things I need to do in I think it's step five or six is I need to check if that total modulus 10 equals zero. So I definitely need a total. And I'm also going to have to loop through all the digits in the credit card. So I'll probably need an incrementer as well. So I'll have I in there. Now when I'm spitting out the message, whether the card is valid or not, the task actually asked me to include the last four digits of the card. So before I start messing around with this string, I want to retrieve those last four digits. So I'm going to call this last four. I'm going to put that equal to a substring of, and my substring, well, it's going to be number. I want you to go four from the end and retrieve four numbers. So that takes care of that. 
Next thing I need to do is to split the string into an array. Well, that's fairly straightforward. We'll take the number. And that's going to be equal to string split. And again, this is something we've done before. So string split. And in here, what are we splitting? We're splitting number. The next thing I need to do is to actually to, uh, reverse this array. And that's step two of the process. So let's have a look. Uh, number will equal to array reverse. What are we reversing? We're reversing number. Okay, the next thing I need to do is to loop through the array and perform the calculations. So this could be a little bit tricky, so I'll take my time on this. So I need to have a for each something do something. Okay, now the something I'm going to be doing is all of this. So I'll copy that and pop it in here. Okay, well, what's my check going in here? It's going to be for each number as, let's call this digit. We're taking this number array and we're breaking it down into digits. Okay, the next thing I need to do here is check if it's going to be an even digit or an odd digit. And the way I do that is through my incrementer. So in here, I need to say something like, if something is true, do something. The something I'm going to do is all of this, yep, and pop that in there. And in here, I need to check if this incrementer i is an even number. So dollar i modulus two is equal to zero. So if that is true, it must be an even number. I've got no remainder when I divide by two. And if that's true, then I'm going to take the the digit and multiply it by two, but I'm gonna keep track of that. So digit equals digit times by two. And the shorthand for doing that is digit uh, times equals two. Okay, that's fairly straightforward there. Now, when I've taken that digit and multiplied it by two, I need to check if the digit is greater than nine. And if it is, I need to subtract nine. Okay, so in here, if something is true, do something. Okay, so if the digit is greater than nine, then I need to subtract nine. So let's do that. I need to say digit minus equals nine. Okay, so we're getting there. So the next thing I need to do is to find the total. So in here, I'll have total, and that's going to be equal to the old total plus the digits. And the way I do that is plus equals digit. Next, I need to increase the incrementer by one. So that's dollar i plus plus, semicolon to finish. And we're nearly finished. So the next thing I need to do is to check if that total is divisible by 10. So if something is true, do something. And the something I want to do is to display a little message. So I'll put that in there. Now to check if the total is divided by 10, I have total modulus 10 is equal to zero. And if that is true, then I want to display this message. And if you recall, the message we have to display is the last four digits of the credit card and whether it's valid or invalid. And obviously in this case, it would be valid. So we'll echo and something like your credit card number. 
ending in and we'll concatenate on here the last four and in that case it is valid else we'll do something else and if it's not valid then it must be invalid so I'll copy that I'll paste it in here and just change that to invalid okay so now the script is actually finished the last thing for us to do is to check if it's working and if you go to the actual task itself we have some valid and invalid card numbers so let me take a valid credit card number I'll copy that I'll go to the form paste it in and submit and there we have that the credit card is valid I'll go back I'll take an invalid card number copy that and paste that one in and submit and this one is invalid so hopefully you got the same results if you have any questions please feel free to either send me a private message or post them in the discussion forums